Welcome back everybody, Chad Ferguson here, Catfish Edge. Driving around looking for some fish and I wanted to just shoot a real quick video. Answer some questions that I've been getting about catfish rods and my uh, signature series catfish rod that I released uh, earlier this summer. I had a lot of questions people wanting to know about the different types of catfish rod blanks in general and specifically my catfish rod and what exactly S-Glass composite means. And um, there's basically three different types of fishing rods that you'll find most often um, when fishing for catfish. There's E-Glass, S-Glass, and Graphite. E-Glass and S-Glass are both forms of fiberglass. E-Glass is kind of an older technology. It is uh, very durable and it has a lot of flex to it. It can really withstand being put underneath a lot of pressure, but it's also much heavier and less sensitive than the S-Glass and Graphite. Graphite being the lightest fishing rod there is, it's what you'll commonly find uh, fishing for bass, you know, lightweight, uh, very sensitive, but is really not very durable. Uh, a pure graphite rod is not very durable and really not made to bend a whole lot. So you hook into a big catfish, put it under a whole lot of pressure, chances are it's going to snap because it's not made to flex a whole lot. Well, in between graphite and E-glass, you have S-glass. S-glass is a higher modulus than E-glass, very similar material in a lot of ways, but it's higher modulus, so it's stronger than E-glass is, and it's also lighter and more sensitive than E-glass. So most catfish rods are made out of E-glass because E-glass is strong, uh, it's you know easy to acquire, a lot of people build E-glass rods, it's very durable, but it's also the least expensive of the materials. S-glass being the stronger, lighter, superior material than E-glass is a little bit more expensive and um, that's the reason a lot of people don't use it. It's also a little more difficult to build the rod blanks as I understand it. I'm not a rod blank manufacturer, but that's what I'm told. So specifically about my signature series catfish rod that I released and uh, the rod says S-Glass composite on it. Well, what that means is that we took a combination of S-Glass and graphite to build that blank. So you get 80% S-Glass and 20% graphite, which kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You get the lighter weight, uh, more sensitive material, that S-Glass provides is very strong, very durable. It'll really flex and stand up really well if you put it under a lot of pressure, land in those big catfish, but it's also sensitive. But then when you add a little bit of graphite into that mix with that blank, it really lightens up the rod and it really increases the sensitivity of the fishing rod. So that's why the rod doesn't feel like a lot of catfish rods that you're used to handling. To my knowledge, there is not another catfish rod on the market today that is using that combination of S-Glass and Graphite. The reason that we did that combination of the S-Glass and Graphite the way we did is because we, I wanted to build a very durable fishing rod that would really hold up to the pressure of catching big catfish, but I also wanted something that was sensitive enough to really feel that bite if you were targeting smaller, you know, one to three pound channel catfish or blue catfish and kind of everything in between. And I also wanted a really light rod uh, that wasn't heavy to hold if you're using techniques where you're holding the fishing rod in your hand. So those are the three main types of catfish rods uh, that you'll find or fishing rods in general that you'll find and what you're gonna see most often in catfish rods. 
and exactly what S-glass composite means when you read that on the fishing rod. If you want to get more information about my signature series catfish rod, you can go over to catfishedge.com. You'll find more details there or just click the link below this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you want to get more tips, tricks, and information on fishing for catfish, head over to catfishedge.com. Make sure that you get subscribed to our YouTube channel and make sure you get signed up for the mailing list over at Catfish Edge. Till next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com.